CBS 2's Sandra Torres live in downtown Evanston where fans are still riding high <laughs> from their first ever, ever tournament W. Good morning, Sandra. Hey, good morning, Erin. Good morning, Lionel. And not just that, I just found out today's the last day of finals. So, so many things to celebrate here in Wildcat Country. And of course, fans are elated. Yesterday, not only at sports bars, restaurants, I mean, you name it, everywhere they went, it was a big deal as the Wildcats made their first win in the NCAA tournament. <laughs> And that's the moment when NU got the big win as current students and alumni celebrated at Buffalo Wild Wings in Skokie. And that was just one of several watch parties in the area for those who couldn't make it to support the Wildcats in Salt Lake City. It was a sea of purple around town, everyone showing off their pride. And of course, the game was a nail biter, but the anxiety was all worth it. This is one of the best I've ever felt in my life. Huge win, huge win for Northwestern. One of the best we've ever had. They're winning it all. In my bracket, they're winning it all. Yes, we have to go all the way. We have to. Wow. I mean, when it's never been done before for our program. It's pretty incredible. Such an incredible feeling, and of course, fans are hoping to keep that momentum going as the Wildcats face Gonzaga tomorrow at 4:15, and that's right here on CBS2. Reporting live in Evanston, Sandra Torres, CBS2 News. Aaron Lionel. Go Wildcats, Sandra. Thank you.